Welcome to Anesang Harrod Park, or more locally known as Ponty Park, which is the home of Pontypridd Town Football Club, who play their football in Nathaniel Carr's Welsh League Division 3. Pontypridd Town have been arranging some friendly fixtures this summer, and we're here to catch up with the management and players, and a very special guest. Dan, thanks, uh, thanks for joining us on pleasure. the show. Pleasure, real pleasure. Uh, we're here in Ponte, Ponte Prize. Um It must come as, as much of a shock to you as, uh, as everybody else that uh, they managed to secure another high-class friendly against the La Liga club, Deportivo. Yeah, no, superb. My company, Pro Athlete Supplementation, we were happy to give a little bit of support and two fantastic games and we're here again to give some support with nutritional products. It's easy to forget how difficult mm. life was, you know, many, many years ago when I remember, yeah, playing for Cumbrian Town and I'd go and do a 12-hour shift in the freezer yeah. part of, at Tesco's in the big warehouse and then try to play a game on a Saturday. Their dedication is one of the reasons why I, I felt it was important. Our company's had a fantastic year with our support with the Welsh football team and hopefully they're on the verge of something heroic uh, and, and historic. In life, sometimes it's about dreaming. You know, for me, I was 12 years old when I dreamt about being an Olympic champion. It took 20 years. I know dreams can come true, and where I can give my support and lend a bit of a hand, then it's, for me anyway, personally, it's important that I do, and keeps me grounded and, and, and make sure I don't forget where I've come from. Definitely put them through the pieces, <laughs> and they seem to be going a bit slower than they're yeah, actually yeah, playing yeah. football. Well, so. I did warn them they'll be sore tomorrow, but <laughs> hey-ho, that's how it goes. We've got a, a cracking away fixture, uh, Deportivo La Coruña from La Liga. Yeah. Uh, how, how did that happen? On, on the back of last season, obviously, going out and playing in Spain against Valencia, the hype around that built was amazing. We kind of pulled some strings of our Spanish friends and got talking to people at Deportivo. There was a, a couple of other clubs as well who were close, but in the end, um, Deportivo was the best option for us. Looking in the stand last season against Valencia, and you see people in the, the Ponte Prive strip. is quite surreal from people all around the country. Last season, people saw the Valencia game as a bit of a fluke. These guys down, down in Ponte Prive. We've done it again, and we're showing that actually we're, we're trying to do something special. We're trying to be as professional as possible. Tonight, we've had Darren Campbell down here at Anderson Harrod Park. Now, that guy is a, an Olympic gold medalist coming down here, and just to help the guys out and give a bit back to, to Welsh sport um, and something that hopefully we can take into pre-season, take into the game in Spain and also take on to the, the up-and-coming season ahead of us in Welsh League Division 3. Last year we were lucky enough to play against the Valencia team and it was an experience that you know will, will stay with me forever and um, from that then it, it's, it's kind of um, snowballed and, and this year again um, they've, they've somehow uh, picked this uh, uh, fixture out of the hats uh, nearly. Yeah, I think it's a really good chance actually, you know, for us. See, I moved over here six years ago, you know, and when I moved over here, I just I left, you know, uh, just I quit football, really. It's good to, to be back actually, you know, and also playing with my brother, you know, and... There's a family feeling, there's a lot of broads are involved, you know, your yeah. family and a lot of friends that um, have grown up together, you know, throughout the years in school and things, so it's, it's kind of that family vibe. I think that's what they're trying to build here at Ponte Prix as well. I think last year we had about 300 people that followed us out to Valencia and it was incredible and to think we only got 20 30 people and a dog to come and watch us every saturday um so hopefully we'll gather we'll gather momentum again in the next month and we'll let a few uh, a few supporters out in deportivo